have a F-150 XLT 302 a package, so it's got the bigger screen. Uh, but the problem is it has a standard rear view mirror that doesn't have home link. And I really want to connect my garage door opener and some other stuff to it. So I was doing some research online and I found out that I can buy this one from Kia. So this is a Kia rear view mirror with home link installed and auto dimming. This one does have auto dimming, uh, but this is auto dimming and it has home link. We're going to pop this off. Uh, comes with a wiring kit. Looks really easy. I watched a video on it. Um, I'll post in the description the actual model number because there is a video on this, but that model number is discontinued. I talked to a company that sells the discontinued part and they said, hey, this new one, different part number, but exactly the same unit should work just fine. If you're seeing this video, it worked fine and I'll post it in uh, the link below. I'm not affiliated or anything, but just to help people out because this, this was a $12.99 mirror. So for 13 bucks, I think with shipping and processing, it ended up being $25 delivered. But so for 25 bucks, I will have Homelink on my XLT 302A 2021 F-150 mirror. So really excited. Let's see if this works. So there's a screw right up here. We'll unscrew that. Put it in the little tray down here. And then just for reference, this is the bit number for you. And I believe it just slides. Yep. So it slides down. Disconnect it right here. So you just pinch it, pull it out right there. So these are the comparisons. How funny. All right, let's see what's next. Okay, so the next part was popping this cover off. It sat up there right like this. You can see the, the different clips and they line up. I'm doing this by myself, so sorry I couldn't catch on video, but I really just pulled on one side lightly, got my fingers up underneath, which you don't need a panel popper for, uh, popped that, and then I just came around on the other side and just pulled. It's a little dramatic when it pops out, but it wasn't a big deal at all. Okay, just to show you everything that comes in this kit for $12.99, so the Homelink mirror, obviously some instructions with the Kia, which is so funny. Uh, this, which I believe plugs into here. Then we'll use these bad boys to connect these cables in here. So basically the way that works, we cramp these down. We'll probably cut this, expose the wire a little bit, figure out which ones go where. We'll clamp those to this, which again plugs in to that. I believe these are some 3M stickies, some zip ties. Not even sure exactly what these are for, but it's crazy that this all comes in the kit for 13 bucks. So let's get to it. So I got the first clip on. I just wanted to make sure I did it right. I'm getting focus. And I'll show you how to do the other one real easy. In another video I saw and in some forums, black is for power, so on off. And then green is for, let me see if it focuses, is for ground. So those are the two top pins. So I think that's like one and three. But so what you're gonna do, is again, in these clips that comes in the kit, right there, you're gonna let the wire rest in there. You're gonna clamp it right there. So I'm gonna go around the green wire now, right? Clamp it. You can do it with finger pressure, but I found that it's easier. You don't wanna squeeze the hell out of them, but just kind of clamp it right there once you have it closed, and that creates a connection. So let's see how this works. I'll try and get it in an angle. So there you go. So green, black, this is power, this is ground. Here we actually have like a regular ground and then these two, so. So as you saw in the previous thing, there was this ground. So I actually cut it off and I got one of these male connectors that's like that, but I, so I cut it off. I stripped the wire a little bit, attached this. So that is now this one, as you can see. So I did that. And then actually, since this is a constant power, which was correct in the other video and in some of the forums, it's the black wire. I just connected both of those, both the clamps to there. So the two female connectors that came out of the box, plug those both into that, plug this into there. And now everything works. I programmed my garage door opener as well as another clicker. The compass seems to be working good. Auto dimming works real good. Uh, let's see, so. This would be off and then this would be on. Really excited. Let's get this put back together. I slid it on, screw it up. 
So now um, I did zip tie, let me go back a little bit. I did zip tie these up a little bit so it's a little bit cleaner. So now I'm gonna sort of, the plan is just kind of keep it in the middle here if I can and uh, probably more towards the front. But we're gonna try to make that clean. I'll pop it on. We'll make sure it works and we'll be good to go. Okay, as a quick wrap up, let me see if I get some lights in here. Um, it worked perfectly. The codes work, everything works. It's all buttoned up. It was a little bit of a, I mean, it took, you know, a minute, but you do have to kind of finagle the cords and be gentle and get them all in the right place and make sure you're not messing up anything and, and push it. But once it's in there, it's in there good. So super happy, definitely worth the, uh, you know, 20 bucks or whatever it ended up being after tax and shipping. So, um, yeah, hopefully this helps again. I will link the part number below. I don't get anything for it. It's just to help people out. Thanks so much.